Welcome back to We Are Austin. Today is the first day of the Medicare open enrollment period. And recent changes to Medicare might mean that the plan that you've always had might not be the right one for you anymore. Mackenzie Anderson from Premier Medicare Solutions is joining us this morning to share the insights into that enrollment process and how you can get expert advice, keyword for free. That's very exciting. Good morning to you, Mackenzie. Great, uh, good. thanks for being here. Well, good morning to you as well, and thank you for having me. Well, it's an important conversation. It, you know, we said uh, last time we spoke with you, it comes around every single year. Still, sometimes it seems to be a surprise. <laughs> Things could have happened in this year that maybe change your coverage. So tell us a little bit about what you do, and why are you so passionate about helping seniors with this Medicare plan selection? I've always been really passionate about uh, helping seniors and growing up especially as I got older and I would visit my grandmother at her retirement community I noticed how isolating these in these places can be and you know if you're like my grandmother and didn't really put herself out there that much you you know it's isolating and you need somebody in your corner so when I started working for a Medicare focused primary care group in 2016 I got to see the behind the scenes on what it takes to keep our seniors happy and healthy so it was a natural progression for me to step into the role that I'm in now uh, and helping them directly so That's I'm very fortunate yeah well they are too it sounds like it it's a really great story your, your origin story if you will I think that's really great to hear what inspires you to do that Medicare annual enrollment is again once it's here once again uh, uh, like clockwork. Are there some key dates this year that people should really be aware of? Yes, uh, it starts today, October 15th. So between today and the 7th of December, you can make changes to your plans, and those changes will start on January 1st. Excellent. Those are good dates to know. And we talked a little bit about this. Sometimes during the year, things can change, and you may have a plan that you think is good for you, may have adjusted over the year. Are there changes coming to Medicare that people should know about? There are always changes, mm. uh, specifically within your, your specific plan. The carriers will send out a document called the Annual Notice of change and that will highlight your current benefits and then for the next year if there are any changes yeah. so be sure to keep a lookout for that and if you have any questions please reach out to me another big thing is with the prescription drug benefit so th they've been telling us for years that the donut hole would go away and it's finally gone mm -hmm. So the donut hole is whenever you and the plan have spent a certain amount of money out of pocket on prescription medications, and then you go into the donut hole and you pay 25% for your brand name and generic medications. So what I've seen is that's approximately $1,500 to $2,000. So that's being replaced with a $2,000 cap that you would spend on your medications. And a lot of people have really high upfront costs at the beginning of the year because they have to meet, go through their deductible. Right. And so they're introducing a payment plan so you can spread those charges out throughout the year and make it more manageable and easy, easier to pay. Well, that's great. More manageable yeah. is definitely a, a, a must yeah. for, all, for a lot of uh, seniors, especially who might yeah. be on fixed incomes. Yeah. I I think it's going to be a game changer for, for a lot. Good for sure. to know. Well, you heard that here for sure. Well, it sounds like there are so many things to keep in touch with and up to date with. Um, how much continuing education do you receive to kind of stay on top of all of these changes for your uh, for your uh, clients? Well, uh, it is a lot. So first and foremost, I have a license with the state of Texas. And then every two years, we have to do continuing education, which also includes three hours of ethics, which is always fun. Yeah. Uh, and then there's uh, to pay, take a course and pass a test called AHIP to help us be able to help people with Medicare. Now, when we have the certification, it gives us a fiduciary responsibility. So I have to do what's in your best interest instead of my own, yeah. which I really like. Yeah. Additionally, for every carrier that we work with, there are courses and tests that we have to pass every single summer. And so if we don't pass those, then we cannot help people with those carrier plans. And then carrier uh, education. So we've received a lot coming up to this period and uh, for 2025. So it's a lot of information. The core information doesn't change that much, but um, I've been doing this for seven years. And so uh, it's... You know, it's, it's gotten easier throughout the years. Nice. Well, you, you have spent definitely this past, this is your crunch time, studying all those changes, getting yes. ready to go, leading up to open yes. enrollment for sure. You've spoken already uh, so well about why this is a great option, but why should somebody utilize your services? And then on top of that, how much does it cost? Well, first and foremost, there is no charge That's for amazing. my services. So we are not actually allowed to charge per Medicare compliance rules and regulations. There are some out there who will try and charge you, but run the other way. Good to know. Uh, yes, yeah. Run the other way you'll be able to find someone like myself or 
myself that will be willing to answer your questions uh, at no charge. Um, and so why should you use me? Yeah. Well, if you were to call into in one of the commercials or any 1-800 number, you're not speaking with somebody who's in your city, let alone state or potentially even country. Mm. So these, you're speaking to somebody at these large call centers and they handle the entire nation. Mm. So when you speak with me, you're getting me, mm. and I know Austin. Yeah. I know the all the intricacies, and what makes Austin, Austin, mm -hmm. and the doctor networks, and the pharmacies, and, and everything. And so you're really getting that unbiased, uh, knowledgeable approach to things, and I'm gonna give you what I think is the best option for you. That's great, it's like having a neighbor help you with this uh, challenging topic. That's really great to know. Yeah. Very cool, Mackenzie, how can people get in touch with you uh, to use your services? Well, call me, text me, send me an email. You're also welcome to go to my website, premiermedicaresolutions.com, uh, and I look forward to speaking with you.